Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Strata Hadoop World in New York City. I'm here with Amr Awadala. Amr, how are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. So you're the co-founder and CTO, CTO of Cloudera. Mm -hmm. So you've been with Cloudera since its inception. Yeah, seven years. Seven years. So how, how has that journey been? Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Like skyrocket amazing. Skyrocketing. Yeah. Exponential growth. Doubling yeah. every year. Everything doubling. The number of people in the company, the revenues, the number of people coming to this great event that we do together. It's everything doubling. And it's fun. Oh, super fun. Yeah. But very stressful too, actually. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm yeah. going to ask something about stress later. But yes. So the first question I have for you is, so what is new at Cloudera now? Yeah. So we made the... Um, a couple of announcements uh, recently. One of, the, one of them is called the One Platform Initiative, mm -hmm. which I can tell you more about. And uh, we released uh, the Kudu project and uh, the record service uh, project on Monday. Okay. Yeah. So Kudu is performance speed? Kudu is about filling a very important uh, gap that we had in the platform. So in the platform, we had uh, two storage options, HDFS and HBase. HDFS was very good for uh, throughput, meaning doing a very big table scan. was very good for append, add, 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 add. HBase was very good for latency, meaning looking up stuff very quickly, doing yeah. very quick lookups. And HBase uh, was very good for updates and del deletes and inserts. But there was nothing that could do both at the same time well. And if you're building a data warehouse, by definition, you need to be able to do updates and deletes and inserts. So we need something new in the middle that is not as low latency as HBase, not as super high throughput as uh, HDFS, but can accept changing data, accept updates and inserts and deletes, and give reasonable lookup performance and reasonable throughput performance. So Kudu is the middle ground. Exactly. Excellent. Yeah. So that, that's project number one that you guys yes. have announced here. Yeah. One platform? One platform is about reminding people of the genesis of what this Hadoop movement is about. And I like to always stress that there is Apache Hadoop, the project, which is mapped to use HDFS, but then there is Apache Hadoop, the movement, the concept, the, the, the vision. And the vision is about having this data operating system that is multi-in, meaning you can absorb structured, unstructured, semi-structured, scalable from a technology point of view, but scalable from a cost point of view, because you have lots and lots of bytes, and then multi-out, meaning you can read that data using SQL, but you can go beyond SQL, right? So not only SQL. You can do uh, Spark, you can do machine learning, you can do search, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The pieces that you use to build the scale, to build the multi-in, to build multi-out, can change and will change. For example, Spark is yeah. now replacing MapReduce as one of these very key pieces. So we wanted, with the Bond Platform announcement, to reconfirm our commitment to this platform of multi-in, scale, multi-out, and confirm that uh, Spark is one of the key pieces in the multi-out part. Excellent, so then the third announcement was around security and that was called? Record service. Record service. So record service uh, essentially is about solving a bug that we have in the platform, to be honest. So uh, in the platform we have a project called Apache Sentry, which maintains permissions. If you're going to access some data for a, given, for a given column, are you able to read, are you able to write, are you able to update? Sentry maintains that. But then Hive and Impala need to look up and enforce that. So if you're using Hive or Impala, it was okay. But if you are smart and you come in with MapReduce, you bypass it. And you can access everything. Or come in with Spark, you bypass it and you can access everything. So record service is about building this enforcement layer that sits on top of the storage layer and lets you enforce the proper fine grain access controls across everything. That's really what record service is about. So it's a platform fix and something that's hardening the platform yes, as well. from a security point of view. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Yeah. Yeah. So with what you guys have done and where you're going, and you know where you're going, what keeps you awake at night? What worries you at night about how you're going to get there? So that, that answer, that question changes depending on the stage of the company we're at. So for example, when we were very young as a company, what kept, kept us up at night, are we going to build something that people want to buy at the first place? <laughs> right? Are we going to find a product that is repeatable, that people want to give money for, and can solve many, many problems over and over again? We're past that, so we're not staying awake at night because of that anymore. We are now at the scale phase of our company, meaning can we scale this organization? Can we scale this company? Can we scale our uh, support team, our sales team, our marketing team, our legal team across the world? So we are now opening offices in every continent, 
and hiring sales organizations and legal organizations and marketing organizations and engineering organizations in every continent. How do you scale that up while retaining the culture, while retaining the focus, and while retaining the paranoia and the competitive edge of, I, I have to stay ahead of all of the other guys trying to catch up with me. That's what keeps me up at night. Okay, so likewise, what excites you about the future? What, what are you most excited about and what's on your horizon? Uh, what excites me is the problems that we are solving, that, that this technology is helping solve. Uh, yes, we're solving, we're helping solve some uh, simple problems like BI and how can you ask new questions of your data, but we're also solving very fundamental problems that saves lives. Human problems, yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah, like Cerner, Cerner, one of our key customers, they use our platform to predict uh, sepsis, which is uh, an inf infection of the blood that can happen after a surgery. Yep. That's saving lives, that, that people are living because of that, as opposed to going back home and dying from the infection. So that just that's super exciting. It's the fact that this technology is not only uh, good for the economy and it helps us make money and so on, but it's actually changing our lives overall for the better. Excellent. Yeah. And and Amr, lastly, if you could fast forward 12 months from now, yeah. where would you like to see Cloudera first and the whole industry be in 12 months from now? So uh, I have to be careful with the answer I give for that because it's called forward-looking statements and you have to be careful with forward-looking oh, statements. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so uh, w what I will say is uh, what I observe as in terms of trends that are happening right now, a very key trend that's happening right now is the cloud the cloud itself, yep. meaning putting data and putting information in the cloud. Uh, Cloudera, it's a long story, so I'm not going to share it right now about why our name is Cloudera, uh, but briefly, because when we started... The cloud era. Yes. Yes, it was, but not just the era of the cloud. We were building a cloud service. Cloudera, at our beginning, we built a cloud service, and then we had to move to build software instead because nobody wanted to buy a cloud service seven years ago. That has to do with back-end data. They will buy it for websites and front-end applications, but not for back-end, not for back-office. Uh, that is changing now. Companies and organizations and governments are being more open to have their back-office move into the cloud. So over the next 12 months, I think one of the key movements you will see from us is how to put the cloud back in Cloudera, <laughs> in other words. How to make our platform more friendly in the cloud. And isn't that also an industry movement too? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. it's covering both. Yes. 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 It's a it's a two. Yeah. Double Excellent win. Excellent answer. Yes. <laughs> Amr, we look forward to that journey. Thank you. Thank you very much.